everyone and welcome back to my channel. I want to first thank ABC Mouse for sponsoring this portion of today's get it all done video. I am starting my day with planning um, and doing my to-do list. I'm planning in my actual planner for the new month ahead as well as I'm going to show you how I fill out our family calendar in the kitchen. You know with four kids and a couple businesses it's hard to just keep all my ducks in a row and I just love a good to-do list and a good just set up in my planner. It just helps keep my mind clear. The way that I'm able to do this right now is because the kids are on ABC Mouse and you guys know we have been using ABC Mouse forever now since Carter was two actually. So if you're new to ABC Mouse, ABC Mouse is a digital learning tool for kids ages two to eight and it has lessons and games and activities to educate your kids in a variety of academic subjects like math, reading, language arts, science, social studies, arts, and colors. All of my kids love ABC Mouse. I also love that you can have up to three accounts on it. So Carter, Tanner, and Ella all have their own account and it's kind of cute because they race each other to get the most amount of tickets and it just really works out well for our family because when I want them to be like have like their quiet or like wind down time or relax time is what we call it in our house. Um, they come on ABC Mouse and they know that they're learning while playing and having fun and it's just perfect for our schedule and our routine. It's always there when we need it. Carter's own personal goal by the end of summer is to be reading, which I think is adorable that he set his own goal. So that's mainly what he likes to spend his time on right now. Tanner loves every single game. Um, both him and Ella love this game where they give you bubbles and you click on the bubbles with the letter that they're asking for. That's definitely both of their favorite games, but we love ABC Mouse and I know you will too. So be sure to check the link in my description box down below. They have two offers going on right now. The first one is $45 per year or the second one is get the first month free and then $12.99 per month until canceled. Thanks again to ABC Mouse for sponsoring that portion of today's video and now let's get back to some more planning. So I'm starting with just planning my actual day here. I'm going to write down what I need to get done on this specific day for this get it all done video. You guys know I love just a good sit down with a pen and a paper, getting everything out of my brain and onto the paper just helps me tremendously when I'm feeling anxious or overwhelmed and it just helps me like keep my ducks in a row. Every single day I feel like, wait, what am I forgetting? If I'm like ever sitting still or like having a moment of doing nothing, I feel like I'm forgetting something. I can just go and look on my paper and you know, just double check everything. I also like filling out our family calendar in the kitchen because Chris will be like, wait, so what are we doing this day? And I'll be like, uh, let me go get my planner because I don't know off the top of my head. Um, so that is why I just like write it in a bunch of places. It helps me remember it, helps me keep my mind clear. And you know, just being sleep deprived and having four kids, it's really hard to like just keep track of everything. So of course I've already planned out July, but I'm just showing you how I set up my planner. So here I am in August and what I do is I highlight every single Tuesday and every single Sunday since those are my upload dates and I just make them into a nice bright color and try to plan as far in advance as I can. So uh, for example, I'm doing a basement organization video soon so I have enough time to go ahead and get the products I need for it and kind of plan each video out. Since I am such a planner, I do like to plan my videos in advance when I can. It just like helps like figure out if the kids are at camp or at home or if I'll have time to edit, like that type of thing. I definitely need to be ahead of the game with that. The next thing I'll do after I'm done planning my videos is look up in my phone calendar like any events that I save to there, um, like haircut appointments, doctor's appointments, any trips or anything like that and I'll write them down and then I'll go ahead and look at the kids school calendars and write that stuff down and that's kind of just like my base to planning um, and then you know as we get invited to parties or have our own things going on we add to it and right now I'm filling out my calendar in the kitchen just so that Chris can be on the same page with me. Um, I'll write down all the school stuff on here as well as work stuff and trips as well.
So now that we have all of our planning done, I feel like a weight lifted off of my shoulders because I just kind of know what's going on this month and what I need to do, what's expected of me. I also just had groceries delivered, so I'm getting ready to prep all of my ingredients for the week, um, some produce and all of that. So I just have my fruit and veggie soak in here and going to just soak them and, you know, do the daily cut up a million different things. Um, I get so many questions about like whether or not the produce goes bad so quickly, but honestly, having four kids, Evie eats tons of fruit and veggies too. Uh, it goes by really fast. Like since filming this video, I feel like two days later, we're really, really low on produce. I'm also going to roast up some vegetables to go with my lunches this week. And yeah. This is such a random question, but as I'm doing this voiceover, I'm looking at the butter lettuce in here. And whenever I have butter lettuce, it doesn't usually go bad because I love it. I just love the taste of it. And I just thought, is it weird that you have a favorite kind of lettuce? Chris cannot stand spring mix. I can eat it like mixed in. Um, I also really like arugula. I feel like that's one of those things like cilantro, like some people love arugula or some people hate it. I'm one of those people that love it. Chris is one of those people that hates it. Um, and romaine, I feel like it's just like really boring on its own, but for some reason I just love butter lettuce. Also, here is your daily reminder to let your fruit soak. Do not just rinse it. I used to always just rinse it, and after like letting it soak and everything, I was just like, ugh, I definitely need to keep soaking it. Look at all that stuff that came off of the produce. So today I'm roasting up some baby carrots, Brussels sprouts, and um, I'm doing a couple of little grape tomatoes as well as some yellow onion and it just mixed so well together and has so much flavor with literally just salt and pepper and we all loved it.
So I'm just going to roast this on 425 for about 25 minutes. I'll check it, flip some stuff, and then leave it on just a couple minutes longer. It depends how much you want everything cooked. So back to my um, produce stories about like people always asking whether it stays good or not. I always, I, I don't love answering that question just because I do have so many kids. It'd be different like based on how many kids you have and if you're eating it or not. Um, but my tomatoes, they stay good for a very long time. The cucumbers are actually almost gone already. Um, and then you'll see even in the middle of this video, I was able to combine the blueberries and strawberries because my kids ate so many of them. Um, as they were out and I was doing stuff. Also, you guys know a lot of times I'll pre-cut the strawberries and put them in. This time I was in a rush, so I didn't do that. And, um, you know, it really doesn't take too long to cut up strawberries in the morning. I feel like if you already have everything washed and ready to go, even that alone will make the process faster, so it's still very helpful. Now I'm cutting up some watermelon. I got two small watermelons and um, you know I'm planning to cut it up and just have it for fruit for the week, but the main reason I got it is because I'm so excited to make like a watermelon juice. It's so good, you mix it with watermelon, cucumber, and some mint. It's actually one of my favorite martinis as well, but it's good on its own. It's just very refreshing and very hydrating. So next up I'm cutting up some mangoes because they were super ripe when they arrived. So um, I always just do like whatever fruit is going to go bad the fastest, I'll put that out more in like the morning when they're having breakfast for them to just pick at. Um, the mango that is cut up in this video is almost gone already. Um, so yeah, I think mango is probably one of my favorite fruits, mango, banana. And watermelon, I like berries, but they're like my least favorite, which I feel like most of the time is like the opposite. Like everybody loves strawberries and blueberries, but I would prefer this first. This pineapple, I'm actually using some of it for my recipe that I'm going to make in this video, which is just like a healthy teriyaki turkey meatball. Um, and then usually, like, we love pineapple too. I also like that more than strawberries and blueberries. Um, but this one was just like not very great. I, you know, I got grocery delivery, so I didn't pick this out. However, I still don't really know how to pick out a pineapple. I just pray it tastes good when I pick it out. So if you have any tips for that, you'll have to let me know. But I, I think like based on Everly's reactions that pineapples are her favorite. Now that everything is prepped and put away, I'm starting on some dinner. I am just making some taco bowls um, for myself and then I'm making just regular tacos for Chris and the kids and it was delicious. It's just so easy. You know my kids love tacos to the point that Ella is having a taco unicorn birthday party. Um, they're a staple in our house but now I'm making 
the teriyaki meatballs. So for the teriyaki sauce, you're gonna use a half cup of rice vinegar, a half cup of cooking sake, a half cup of coconut aminos, and one fourth cup of coconut sugar. This recipe is from Jessica Spires. However, I could never find cooking sake, so I just used um, a half cup of rice vinegar and then one cup of liquid aminos. And if you don't like, like liquid aminos, you can use um, just regular soy sauce, but I love the liquid aminos and I feel like it's way healthier too. Okay, so as the meatballs are simmering and the turkey is getting flavored with the seasoning, I'm just going to um, put out the taco shells. I, this is how I do it. You know, we have daddy tacos too, which Chris does it a completely different way. And the kids will say if they want mommy tacos or daddy tacos, which is hilarious. So I'm making a mess, but I'm also just putting the turkey into the tacos and I'm gonna put some cheese on top melt the cheese in the oven on like 200 degrees and this also just like lets the shell get nice and crispy and have more flavor to it um, and then I'll go ahead and add the lettuce and everything else afterwards but these are mommy tacos versus daddy tacos So for my bowl, I'm just having some rice and black beans and turkey, lettuce, and this is really, you know, a lot of people think this is gross. Um, I used to think it was too until I tried it, but ketchup. Ketchup just makes it delicious. And the only reason that I'm using ketchup, which is what Chris and the kids love on their tacos, is because I didn't have a jar of open salsa. So I used that in its place and it was really, really good. So now that it grows to all out, I'm putting the meatballs into the container and I'm gonna add the juices on top and these will be um, lunch for us this week. The kids actually had it for dinner one night as well and they absolutely loved it. It is really late at night. I just got the kids down. Chris cleaned up the kitchen so that I was able to get my workout in. I promised myself that I would work out. So I'm only doing a 10 minute workout because I was exhausted and even this was just enough. My legs were still sore and shaking. I'm still very out of shape. I still don't have like any of my core muscles back. So my balance is just really off when working out. But if I could say one thing to anybody, it's that if you are struggling with working out, you're in the right place because everybody has to start somewhere. Um, you know, I feel like some people get discouraged from working out because they're like, oh, well, I am not in shape at all. But the only way to like get in shape and to get healthy, I should say, because it's all about being healthy, truly, is to start. You just have to start. Even filming these for my videos, sometimes I'm like embarrassed because I'm like falling over and my balance is off. But I'm like, this is real life. This is what it looks like postpartum trying to get your strength back. Everything kind of turned to jello when I was pregnant. Like your organs shift around and your core, no matter what you do, is just not great after having a baby. So yeah, if you're struggling with your workouts as well, even getting a 10 minute one in made me feel proud of myself. It made me feel like I did a workout and you know, I could have just went to bed, but I did it even though it's falling over and I'm just now starting, you know, from the beginning again, I have not been consistent with workouts. I do like one or two a week. My dream, my goal would be to get three workouts in a week but it's just been really hard lately. Um, but yeah, that that's my uh, TIFF talk for the day.
My 10 minute workout is in, I'm proud. Chris almost has the dishwasher loaded and the kitchen all clean. Now I'm just putting away, I had like a small load of clothes that was already folded. That was just like my clothes. Um, I've been separating out like mine and Chris's clothes from the kids clothes, it just makes it easier when folding. So putting away some clothes, hanging up whatever needs to be hung up. And then we are doing some self care. Again, it's late, I really do just wanna go to bed, but I don't wanna break promises to myself anymore because I'm important too and I'm just learning that like I want this workout I want the self-care I've been dying to um, color my eyebrows which is what I'm gonna be doing and been dying to try out this new gel nail kit that I got so not breaking these promises to myself tonight So first I have to take my regular nail polish off and then I'm going to try my gel kit for the first time which actually came out way nicer than I expected I'm definitely still learning. So first I'm taking off the nail polish and then you kind of have to like buff your nail so that the gel will stick to it. So I'm going to do that after I do like this little cuticle oil. It all came as like a big kit together. I'm not sure how long I'll last doing my nails myself. The thing is, is I truly don't enjoy getting my nails done. It just feels like a hassle to me, which I know sounds crazy, but you know, just trying to find a babysitter or if Chris is busy, you know, it's just, I don't know, it's not my jam. I love a good pedicure. Um, however, like doing my nails, like if I nail chips, I want them done like right away. And now I can just do them myself. So I like having that freedom. So to end this, I am just coloring my very blonde eyebrows. I've been doing it at home for a couple of times now and I really like it. Again, it's just hard sometimes finding the time to do this kind of stuff and when I do have free time, I'd rather just like walk around with a coffee at my favorite spot and yeah. But after this is done, it only takes about like five minutes to do both eyebrows. I will just go ahead and hop in the shower and finally get to bed. So I hope that you all enjoyed this video. Please don't forget to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up and I will see you in the next one.